coordination in life processes so we studied about life processes what are various life processes that takes place in the human bodies we studied about the process of nutrition and we studied about transportation that is the circulation respiration and uh, we studied about excretion reproduction and control and coordination so except the control and coordination in rest of the chapters we studied them in an isolated manner isolated manner in the sense we studied about each of the system and only about the system in the chapter say nutrition we studied only about the nutrition so respiration we studied about the respiration but all these are the various kinds of life processes that takes place in the body but inside the body all these life processes are taking place with a coordination so they cannot takes place happen without coordination your body cannot survive sustain so there must be a coordination between the various system say for example if you have to run fast for running your muscles and skeleton the bones must be having the flexibility strength enough energy the energy it should be supplied by the respiration and nutrition so various systems various life processes work together in a coordinated manner in this chapter we are going to uh, learn more details about how different life processes how different systems of our body are coordinated in this chapter coordination in life processes so we find this coordination among various systems of our body you find the coordination between the nervous system and respiratory system nervous system and excretory system likewise we find the relation between that endocrine system gland system and digestive system endocrine system and respiration endocrine system and reproduction hormone system this is also coordinated because this is the chemical coordinating system hormone system endocrine system so it is uh, having the coordination it brings about the coordination it brings about control over various life processes but here in this chapter we are taking one example one life process example to understand the coordination that is the digestive system here we are taking the digestive system as an example or as a model and how it is coordinated by the other activities or other life processes in the body so here we are taking the digestive system as an example to understand how every process is coordinated or dependent on other so if you take the process of digestion it involves various steps right from the beginning that is the feeling hungry so if you take that uh, nutrition part the feeling hungry that means some kind of sensation you get in the stomach which will initiate which will motivate you to eat something so your stomach that hungry so that stomach pangs it starts with that some kind of uh, other system by the action of other system that is initiated so right from the beginning of hungry to the utilization of the food completely making use of the food which is eaten there are several stages now let us see at each stage how it is coordinated so now let us see the first one feeling hungry how this feeling of hungry the hungry pangs are initiated the stomach contractions which will make you to eat something actually this originates or this begins at with the blood so what happens in the blood blood is the circulatory system which carry various substances to different parts different cells of our body so certain substances the levels of certain substances in the blood is connected to this feeling hungry what is that 
if our blood have sufficient amount of glucose blood should have sufficient enough amount of glucose to supply to each and every cell so every cell is supplied with glucose but once the level of glucose is low or down then the blood cannot provide glucose to all the cells so all the cells are deprived of energy source that is glucose then glucose is wanted so for that reason you have to eat unless until you eat you won't get glucose to your blood so the less or the low level of glucose it will initiate the production of a hormone called as ghrelin this ghrelin hormone is secreted in the stomach by certain cells of the stomach wall this ghrelin hormone is secreted this hormone it causes the hunger pangs the stomach contractions which will make you feel that hungry the feeling of hungry is brought by this hormone but when this hormone is activated not all the time this hormone is activated depending upon the level of glucose in your blood right so when the level of glucose goes down immediately this hormone is activated and it causes the feeling of hunger how do we know that it is hunger how can we know that these are hunger pangs not any other pain you will definitely know the difference between some other kind of stomach pain the pain you get uh, you get by overeating or the pain you get by indigestion the pain you get by hunger there is a difference how do you identify the signals that are caused by this hunger these signals are passed to your brain and inside the brain so from the stomach these are taken to the brain stomach to brain so in the brain the part diencephalon which is found in the forebrain it is responsible for the analysis of these signals and it will identify it is hunger note it is hunger hunger sensation so that is there is a role of nervous system there is a role of hormonal system endocrine system nervous system so you see how the in how they are interconnected the digestive the nervous and the endocrine system hormonal system gland system so here we uh, notice that interconnection now what happens so when the brain i the diencephalon is identified that it is hunger then we start eating to compensate that hunger so in the nervous system the diencephalon is the site where the analysis of these signals takes place and vagus nerve so this is the vagus nerve which is the 10th cranial nerve very important in carrying the hunger signals to the brain so this nerve takes part in carrying the signals so these hunger pangs they continue for these hunger pangs continue for 30 to 40 minutes so the levels of ghrelin increases and which will initiate motivate you to consume the food